projects as well. And today's project that we're looking at is something, well, it's actually one of our earlier, um, one of our earlier videos that this came from. And um, a project that, um, yeah, probably one of the most popular early ones that we uh, that we did. Um, oh, turn the volume down on that one there. We're just going through our checks. Yeah, so um, uh, let's have a little look. Yes, we are indeed. Hello, sir. Hope you're okay. Hope all is well. We certainly need to have a catch up soon. Um, oh, that's clever. That's just dropped on there. Um, yeah, it'd be great to know what you're up to. Um, hope everyone's well. Hope the family's well. Um, and here we are. Let's get started. Um, yeah, I know this is one yourself. You've had a little go at. I can see that's rocking and rolling a little bit. So I'm going to check to see if there's anything just on the underneath it. Why is that rocking and rolling? Let's have a little look. Hmm, because that's not really ideal for cutting out. Let's have a little look. Is there a little ridge on one of these? And I drilled it. Preparation, see? Always got to think about getting your preparation right. Boy, I'm checked as well to hear if you can... Yeah, you can't hear me. For better, for worse. Um, but you can't hear me. What I'm going to do, just in case one of those holes has got a little ridge on it, I'm just going to flatten it back out. So we're using that usual method that we use of stack cutting. So we're going to have the two layers. Top layer is teak, so hopefully it'll lubricate the blades without a problem. Um, I haven't roughed up the blade as well. It's been one of those days. Time seems to have just kept marching on and haven't managed to get all the things prepared for the live streams I wanted to. But there we are, we're getting there now. Um, right, change the king, we're gonna start. We start with the one at the back, just like so. Um, we're cutting those two layers out, out at the time. So the top layer is teak, and the bottom layer is, I think, I think it's a bit of cherry from the burning. It definitely looks like it, it probably is. Yeah, so hope you're all well. Um, let's get cutting. We'll see, I might, I've got tape there just in case I need to uh, have a little bit more lubrication on the blade as well, but yeah. I'm just gonna check as well. Have I missed any comments there? Yes, I have. So I'm gonna catch up. Currently making small pews. Wow, out of big pews, no carbon involved. So my first, in brilliant. Wow, that sounds great. Yeah, we definitely have to have a catch up. You'll have to show me them. Be well interested in having a look at that. Hello to the wood burning warrior. Hope all is well. Yeah, all good here. And I can see you're in Yorktown, Virginia. Good stuff.
Right, so we've got the first little cut done. Uh, coming on nicely there. Um, so we've got everyone's from everyone's joining us from Virginia here. Um, sewing angel gangs for babies. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, oh, we've got Clive. I'm using number 12 blades. Does roughing up the end help when holding the blades? Yeah, can do. If you're finding they're slipping, um, definitely, yeah. Just rough them up a bit. Get a bit of, just go across, you know, just across the grain, so rough them up, um, just in case they're slipping. These, the one I'm working with here is, is slowly but surely becoming my favorite blade to use. It's that Nikwa Pebeco. Um, and the way it came about where I thought I'll give them a try is because um, it's actually written on the side of the Hegner. It's on their guide list of recommended blades. When it comes to hardwood, that's that's one that they recommend. So yeah, definitely um, uh, that little trick of roughing up the ends of the blade can, can prove quite useful. This was a, a project as well. I first did, wow, how many years ago did I did, did this one? But it was one of the first videos that we, we put up on our channel that was um, quite popular and sort of turned us into more of a scroll story channel than a love spoon and wood carving channel. Um, I'm hoping as well, we'll get some chance to cut out some small decorations and I'll demonstrate the carving on those ones. Bit of a Christmassy sort of uh, feel to things, but we've been busy over the last week and a lot of what we've been selling are, are spoons and um, Christmas themed stuff. Any questions as well as we go along? Remember, get them into us. It's always uh, great to hear from you all.
Right, so that's that. Our first king cut out, but we got two to go, but all together we cut out two kings because we got the top layer and we got the back layer as well. So same as always, always checking on the back just to see everything's cut out, all right? One thing you've got to make sure as well, I'm always checking to see that we've got plenty of wood just in between there. So um, the strength, we're always thinking in terms of having plenty of strength there. Um, so yeah, the carver's answered that one there. Yeah, sorry to hear about that one, that's, uh, that's a shame. Um, I no idea. There we are, slightly under the circumstances, but uh, yeah. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to carry on onto our second king. Um, one thing we're doing as well, as we're doing with a lot of our projects now, I got, I'm doing a big version and a small version. And when I do get a chance to do this one, it'll be interesting to see how it goes, because of course this, the amount of wood in between the camel's legs there we, is going to be reduced. So we're going to have to check to see if it's still got enough strength for that project to be successful. So we scaled that down to about 80%, um, but we'll see as we do that one if it's gonna have enough strength. Right, straight back into it, and we will carry on cutting out.
Well, you can always tell when I'm enjoying the cut because I forget to talk. Um, so yeah, we're well over halfway through and um, it's taking shape. One thing uh, we will demonstrate with this one as well, I'll probably cut around the surround there because um, we're, we're, we're demonstrating it using the uh, scroll saw. But when I actually make these, what I would usually do is to use the band saw to cut that surround. But this is a nice one. Anybody as well interested in having a go at making this, there's a version of the template on our website that you can just print off for free. So you're more than welcome to, to print that one off. I think the shape is not, not quite wrong. Uh, sorry, the, the shape is not quite right. We've changed the shape to make it nicer and a bit stronger as well, to be honest with you. Uh, let's have a look, look. Oh, hello there, Henry. Hope all is well. Uh, yeah. Uh, die the, yeah, we have got, we've got a few people in there. You're right. Um, yeah, you picked up on that one. We've got a few people in as well. They, 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 they've joined us. They're having a look around the workshop and um, they've also, they wanted to have a little look, see what we were doing with the live stream. So we are, we've got a, a busy workshop and um, we've had a busy few weeks. Last two weeks have been busy. So uh, I've been trying to catch up making extra on Sundays, which is not good because I'm trying to get some filming done as well. But uh, there we are. We can't do it all. We can only do what we can do.
Right, so we got our three wise men cut out. We check it on the back to see if everything's okay. So this is what I was talking about, making sure we've got enough strength there. So our front, our front wise man there, I've just got a little line there where we've been cutting it out. So I want to tidy that up. Other than that, we're on to the star and cutting out the surrounds. Shamai Ken, hope all is well. Thanks for joining us. three kings and our stars cut out and I will show as well how we cut around the outside <laughs> hello hello to Florence thanks for joining us um yeah I'm afraid me yeah uh, I think with we're, we're in French there I'm not so good with the, with French Spanish I'm right 
There we are. Right, let's cut this around and then I'm going to cut out our decorations. Quick check of the time as well. We're going to um, see if we've got time. Definitely going to cut out those decorations and do some carving as well, I hope. Oh, yeah. example in terms of if you've never worked in teak if you've never carved it definitely find a piece of teak and do some carving if you've never scroll sawed it find a piece of teak and scroll saw it it is such a lovely timber and it makes life so easy because it's full of oil it just glides through it really is a nice one for us to work in but you can see that's the back so you can see we've got our clean, just a little um, aris that we've got to take off on the back. And then that is the front. A little bit of tidying up as well, just where that piece of wood was a little bit smaller, the back piece, than the front piece. But there we are. Those are our three kings. That's most of our project completed. So we'll have two candle holders ready to go. Right, on from here, we're going to do some holly an ivy, cut out our robins as well, and then we finish off showing you a bit of wood carving. Let's have a little look. Have we missed anything? Um, yes. What we missed is, uh, is is in French, which is uh, which is not not my forte. As I said, if it was Spanish, I'm fine with that. Um, Habla en castellano, no no pasa nada. Pero francés, no.
All right, we're through. What we've got here as well, we've got three layers stacked and we've got it taped on the back. So that's making it a little bit easier to cut. So we've got a thin piece of oak, um, a piece of mahogany, and then in the middle, uh, on the top, sorry, we've got a piece of yew. So those are the three layers that we've got stacked together. Have we missed anything? Uh, no, just a, a bit of conversation there in, uh, in French. Good stuff. Fantastic. Right. Any other questions, uh, give us a shout. But for now, I will carry on cutting. So you were demonstrating what it is. Daz just explaining um, the the method we use in terms of the stack cutting. So so by by having multiple layers, um, you know this is the thing because we're constantly competing with close to sort of slave labour in you know countries China, India, Africa, places like that. 
um, we got to find methods for, for being able to survive and, and compete. So um, stack cutting is, is definitely a method, but there's other little things that we use. You've got to have the right blade. Um, this is explaining in the workshop and in the live stream at the same time, the, the right blade selection is really important. So we're using the Niqua Pebeco or the Niqua Speed number no. nine. And then the other thing, using things like packing tape on the bottom layer, lubricates the blade, making the whole process yeah. that yeah. much easier. Yeah. Do you use the same blade for all woods? Um, well, blades? what I'm finding now, there's two blades that I'm working with, the Niqua Pebeco and the Niqua Speed. So what I'm finding is that the Niqua Speed is sometimes better on uh, on actually oily woods, on, on, uh, because it, I find that it's slightly lower in terms of the TPI, the teeth per inch, and then drier, harder woods, I'm finding the Niqua Pebeco blade is, is better. But it's, um, both do a, a good job, those two blades. Depends on the thickness of the wood as well. The thicker the wood, yeah. the higher the number blade, the thinner, the lower the number, yeah. and the, uh, the higher the TPI, the teeth per inch. as well to wave around when I go on the bench to do some carving if you want to share with everybody um, you know how, how you got into wood carving and the things you do I'm sure everybody be um, interested to hear but um, we got a little bit left on these and now I'll be going on the bench and um, if you want to explain to everyone I'm sure they'd be fascinated to know
So that one, that cuts out our six items. Worth noting again, if I was doing this normally, I would um, I would use a band saw to cut the surround instead of using the scroll saw. Um, just a bit quicker, and then I'd use the belt sander afterwards. But as you can see, that's six items cut out. Um, we've got... Um, yeah, we've got, where they gone? Two nativity scenes. But there we are, I'm going to take these across onto the bench and we will demonstrate how you make, thank you very much. <laughs> there it is, there's our nativity scene. Um, so yeah, we're going to demonstrate carving, I think the, that one there actually looks like a piece of Iroko. So I think we carved the Iroko, um, Holly and Ivy, and, oh no it's not, is it Iroko or Teak? Piece of teak. There we are. So we go across on the bench and we demonstrate carving those for you all to see. There we are. Anyway, we'll just go. Thanks oh, very you. Very nice, 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 nice to meet you there. Yeah, thanks very much. There we are. Thank you. Right, now very grateful. Thank you all. Okie dokie, so we put our Robin in the vice first of all. All the best, enjoy your holiday. Thank you. Oh, thank you all. I tell you what I've done, I've left my phone over there. Can you grab that one for me? So you can see we've been busy on the bench here. Um, just to give you a bit of background as well, gentlemen there, he oh, won. I pressed a button on there. One the thing, uh, you just turned the volume up, that's all. Um, all the best. Yeah, on there. Um, so. Uh, let's have a little look. Now I understand that lame numero, numero tres. Um, that's the, the I would have said uh, similar to Spanish that one. That's the the blade number, yeah, that you're working in. Um, so we're using probably because of the thickness of wood, because we do the stack cutting. We're using a much thicker uh, blade than a number three. We're generally working at a number nine. Um, I was going to say, yeah, gentleman there was telling us he he got into. Um, he'd got into doing a bit of woodworking. Was his background, was he a lecturer or, you know, yeah, he, was, he was working in university and his background, he'd, he'd in, always enjoyed making things in wood. One thing that he's working on, he's doing a nativity scene and uh, he adds one character each year. So he's carving one character each year to his, 
nativity scenes were, yeah, nice little, uh, nice project, nice thing to do. Um, right, this one here, back to this one. We're just doing our Robin. Um, and I gotta say, if any of you are looking for projects and ideas and things to do, if you can do a simple little Robin, oh my goodness, how many Robins do I sell every year? It is such a popular item. I think people are using them for remembrance, for memorials and that sort of thing. So it is a, it's a really popular little item and um, nice one to carve as well. Possibly a little bit, you know, for what we get for these, it's quite a lot of work, but you know, it's, it's one of those things where as many of these as I can carve, we, we can sell. So the one that we're using to um, make our Robin, I always feel is very appropriate for it because it's it's a piece of you. And I know Robins, they say red, but you've got that orangey color to the breast of the, of the Robin. I know they say it's red, but I do always feel that this or the Savina, the Spanish wood, two good choices for the Robin because of the coloring. So first things first, we're trying to get our depth, trying to get the levels that we want. And then afterwards we'll add the detail. Just checking have we got enough. Um, do we need to cut this one down a bit further possibly? Possibly, yes. That mask does a great job, but it certainly gets quite hot. I feel my, uh, especially when you're taking it on and off, it, it, it rubs a bit on your ears and uh, yeah, it does heat, heat, heat you up a little bit, but it's certainly doing a fantastic job. Really pleased with it. There's a test they do with it, see where they, um, where they check if you can smell, they put a, a substance in front of you and you can, if you can smell it, then the mask is leaking, so it's not doing its job. But uh, thankfully that one is working well. Let's have a little look. So we've got the, uh, we've got that wing coming in just for there. Just like so. And we've got Thomas the Woodcarver walking in. Oh, boys, oh, boys, oh, boys. There we are. Let's have a little look. So, where we've carved it the one way, like so. That's what I try and do. Try and do as much of the carving as you can facing the one way. So, we've pretty much got all of it done facing the one so direction. you've got on there, is it? An I and a T? I and a T, yeah. It's, I, it's just I T. It's not I and a T. Yeah, but if you want, I can have a look at that one tomorrow. No? And at the moment, we've got an order there waiting. It's going out to Wisconsin, but the post office, they've changed their prices and their computer system can't take the new prices. So they told us we're gonna have to come back up. So um, yeah, if you're waiting for an order from us, it is ready, it's ready to go out. We'll have a tracking number as soon as, as, soon as possible, um, but it was a case of computer says no. You'd think they'd have some sort of backup, wouldn't you? Well, it's... Uh... I think the plan is with the yeah. post office is to provide a worse service all the time. Yeah. There we go, that's their ultimate plan is to do, how can they downgrade their services? So that they can encourage private. So they can get everything across to the couriers. Yeah. Okay. So you've probably got MPs. Ah, yeah, you'll probably find out that you've got people in power that have got links with the courier companies. Probably. There we are. Um, you're in the middle of our live stream. This is, um, this is uh, Mrs. Thomas just coming in and having a chat, and, and now she's going. There we are. It was a one and only uh, live stream appearance there. Right, so we just got a little bit of detail. So we've got the main body and the uh, 
just got a, I tell you what, we got a better, ah, oh, there's a better piece of, uh, better piece of sandpaper we need. Right, so just a little bit of sand in. There's a little line there, which we take out. Probably just where the, the grain is going. It just pulled away a little bit. But we just shape it. Just like so. Turn it back around in the vise. Again, there's a little, little ridge there. How many robins do you reckon we carve in a year? Bet we carve more robins or dragons? Robins, oh, I would think. Robins are in front now. Robins would be the number one. Yeah. Very popular. The dragon would be the most popular one we do on bespoke love spoons, so on the one off love spoons. Yeah. Right, so we got the shape that we want on our robin. We then put a little line on the beak, just like so. We put the eye next, and then a little bit of extra detail, just not like so. There we are. So we've got that line just comes round. Just like so. There we are. So that's our robin finished. And the last one I was going to have a look at. Let's have a look. We got the holly and the ivy. And we're going to do that in oak. Should be making it in holly, really, but that's what it's been marked out in. So the first thing with this one, I start off by doing the stop cuts for the berries. So we've got the two little berries at the top, just like so. Do your stop cuts, and then I use the reverse angle of the gouge, just to cut down like so. So yeah, we've had a busy few few weeks, and so that's the, which is great. But everything that you sold, you've got to try and replace. So we need small items, we need love spoons, we need those candle holders. Across the board, we're having items that have sold, so it's... The cap rank as well, as I Oh, was that, which one was that? The, this, um... This one. Oh, there we are. Oh, have you got it there? I'll show everybody. Look at that. Well, look at what you did last week, wasn't it? So that was last week's live stream. There you go, the cats. That's how they finished off. On the first one we put out on sale, first one we put out on sale, they've sold. There's the dogs. Whoop, drop the cats. Um, yeah, so the first ones that have gone out are sold. So just a good indicator. Yeah, that could be good. That could be another thing for the Welsh Assembly. Oh, well, here we are. They're not allowed to sell cats and dogs unless they're real. There we are. There we go. Um, so yeah, another, uh, a, a good indicator. Uh, hello, Danny, hope all is well. Good indicator then, if you have an item that sells like that straight away, that's an encouraging sign. Um, but again, it, it's similar with the Christmas things, the cats and dogs, anything we can get out in the shop that is cat or dog themed, we know there's a good chance we can sell it pretty quick. So good, encouraging stuff. It's with that item, it's purely a matter, can we get enough for it um, in terms of the work involved? Because there was a fair amount of work involved in that particular piece. Right, so just working our way around now, taking off the edges. Um, yeah, we've got to do all of our Try and get all of our work done around the edges, just like so. We will then turn it round in the vise. So we carve as far as we can in the one direction, turn it round, carve in the opposite direction, like so. Ah. 
And with these items, you may notice, you know, we're, we're trying to go, this is my sort of speed that I would be carving at and cutting at. A um, little bit faster, this is probably my, what's, I'm gonna explain. It's not my most relaxed speed. It's not the speed you, you, you're sort of going at relaxed. It's your, your speed you're going at when you really got to try and get through some stock. But um, to make these items viable to sell, we have to be making them pretty rap pretty uh, pretty quickly, pretty rapid. The process. Right, so the cut we're doing there while my hand is covering what I'm doing, that's the most difficult cut on this piece because it's where you go in. Cross the grain. I know I'm carving towards me, but again, it costs me time to turn it around in the vise. We haven't got a lot of time available to us at the moment. Right, so we've done that, and then the final part again, we add a little bit of detail, so a line down the middle of our holly leaf, like so, and then same again for the ivy, a line down the middle, just like so, and then we use a smaller gouge to mark out one, Two, three on the one side. We've already got one on the one side, and then go one, two. So six little cuts. Use those stock cuts to add a little bit of extra detail. Just like so. And then on our ivy leaves, one and two going the one way, and then one. And two, go the other way. There you go. Simple, simple little ideas, simple projects, simple themes, popular sellers, and that's us trying to fill the workshop back up. So we've now got the best, the bulk of the work done on those two Three Kings um, candle holders, a couple of simple little Christmas decorations, all good fun. And we enjoy doing what we do. Hope you all have a great week. Thanks for joining us. If you're watching it on the playback, any questions, remember, get them in to us. Let us know. Um, give us a shout. If, um, if you want to make that candle holder as well, remember, there's all sorts of templates. They're available on the website. Get across there. Print them off. And enjoy making them. Thanks again. Have a great week. And all going well. We'll be back again next Monday.